What's good, YouTube? It's Tay Man, and today, man, we're gonna be reacting to a Luigi versus Tails death battle. Now, I went for Shadow last time, and he won. Sonic, and he won. So, I'm going for Tails, and he gonna win this one too. I got faith in my guy, but he's like the successor to Sonic. I th think they gonna pull out some stats that we don't know about for Luigi, but it don't matter anyway. But we finna go ahead and watch this video, so I hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But let's go ahead and get right to this fight. With the dragon slain and the princess rescued, the hero revels in gold, glory, and cake. But yep, they these are like the two underlings. The sidekick. The people's champion would be lost without his player too. Such yep. as Luigi, Mario's younger brother. And Tails the Fox, Sonic's deformed flying stalker. Now, we have already proven <laughs> that standard Mario and Sonic series power-ups perfectly counter each other, so, to not waste time, we're giving these second strings only what is unique to them. He's with yep. Lime Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death The battle. domain items belong to the originators. After clobbering Koopas, besting Bowser, and saving the princess, who gets all the credit? Mario, Mario. of course, leaving his lanky brother with rejected sloppy seconds. No doubt Luigi has it rough. Despite being born as one of the seven star children destined for greatness, it's not easy being second fiddle to the most popular character in video game history. Yet he doesn't yeah, but seem Luigi, my God, oh. like a I be good using him on Mario Party Luigi all the time. Only to help Mario, never asking for his own slice of the cake. So he's pretty much a slave. In 26. a way, but this devotion he's makes five, him look five. a teammate, helping to save the Mushroom Kingdom Short time and time hell. again. What did Mario do to him to make him so obedient? He's got to have some serious dirt from their childhood. Luigi may take some Law, they just to had this extreme, but he's no pusher. Bomby. In fact, he's not only taller than Mario, but also faster and more athletic. He can jump over six feet higher. Plus, after studying Yoshi's super uh, he got jumping some ups, ability, though. Luigi developed his own variant of the dinosaur's floating technique, the scuttle jump. His abilities don't end with the mid-air hustle. Luigi has plenty of scuttle powerful jump. attacks, each of which, if pulled off perfectly, increase their damage for quick KOs. The spinning Luigi Cyclone, yep. the rocketing green missile, and the super jump punch, which can send his foe up Man, to the air Man, what's that, so what's that punch? They never yep. come back down. That's my favorite move to use from uh, Smash. In addition, he has numerous power-ups at his disposal, including his... I don't play Smash like that. Get off of power flower, Which makes him invisible mm -hmm. and intangible. Mm -hmm. Luigi could be next to you, watching you. Right now. I am ah, Luigi. Stop that. He was trained by the Thunder God himself in the powerful Thunder Hand technique. With this, he can shoot lightning at his foes or at deadly soccer balls. And after yeah. spending so much time in Mario's shadow, Luigi I played that game in like the ability to manipulate elementary some school. Sort of negative I'm gonna energy. be honest. Remember when Mario Bros was about running around and jumping on turtles? Anyway, you were saying something about physics breaking time energy or whatever? Luigi's God, negative Lee. zone can devastate a nearby opponent. Its effects are random, but unavoidable, ranging from sudden dizziness to uncontrollable tripping over absolutely nothing. But when Luigi wants real firepower, he busts out the Poltergust 5000, a handy vacuum cleaner which can somehow Sucks kill ghosts. ghosts. It can kill that which is already dead. He ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Yep, scariest person alive in Mario. Ghosts, bugs, water, flowers, the sun. Luigi is a coward and doesn't even try to hide it. Granted, his fears are usually justified. Usually. He's also Loud. pretty clumsy, which you think would make a terrible combination. But like the Chinese drunken master style, Luigi harnesses awkwardness to make himself even more vicious. He's more powerful than he seems, murdering Goombas and Koopas by the hundreds every day. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go any further, I'd like to point out that the unmaking cannon belongs to a bunch of children. Is it bedtime now, Mom? <laughs> no more parents. Even without it, Luigi has defeated Dementio, discovered the grand final galaxy, 
raised a ravenous man-eating dinosaur, and even rescued Mario from certain doom on three separate occasions. The Green Thunder can pretty much do it all. Yeah. Luigi is one mean green fighting machine. Lugi. That's his name, Lugi. Oh. 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 Shit. All systems go full speed ahead. Born the very same day Dr. Eggman began his robot-powered takeover of the world, Miles Prower. <laughs> I get it! Miles per hour. per hour! Creativity like that is why Sega's still making consoles. <clears throat> Miles was awkwardly born with two tails. Mere minutes after being welcomed Bro, into the world, I'm not going to lie. The Sonic power. franchise is oh, like a toxic relationship. Fucked up. Eight you hope they're doing the best they can, but like, Miles stumbled upon a they, they just never and top what they used to. On his own. Well, of course! Just Stuck like in the past. talking adolescent two-tailed foxes can. Anyway, turns out the airplane happened to belong to Miles' personal idol, Sonic the Hedgehog. What are you doing? Like, why would Sonic, Sonic need a plane? plane? The first place is beyond me, but whatever. It was Sonic who first suggested that Miles' birth defects could be used to fly by spinning like helicopter blades. Which is obviously impossible as they could never create lift when just tangled together. What? And so, Sonic gave his rotary ass the oh so obvious <laughs> nickname he deserved. Tails. Well, that's Tails. stupid. That's like if you were named Boomstick because you just like shotguns. Don't be fucking ridiculous, wizard. Anyway, aside from flight, Tails' copter butt blades are strong enough to bust metal, and he can use them like the turbine of an engine to keep up with Sonic's super fast speeds. He can almost reach can the fly. speed of sound. Tails pledged himself to Sonic's freedom fighting cause against Dr. We'll Eggman. And the two quickly became friends, almost like brothers. They also shared a sort of teacher-student relationship, though it wasn't always clear who was the student. It was Tails who invented the famous spin dash, not the speedy hedgehog. And Tails here we is go. A genius and a master mechanic. He's so much smarter than Sonic that he actually learned how to swim. He has built several planes and combat mechs and has numerous gadgets on hand, like the projectile ring, which can pull or latch onto objects, almost like a grappling hook. But despite being a super geek, he really likes to blow shit up. He carries a what huge supply of bombs. Didn't they mention Big something bombs, about his IQ? Bombs, remote bombs, flashbang grenades, bombs shaped like magic rings, bombs shaped like mice, bombs shaped like your mother, you name it, he's got a bomb like it. He also wields the magic hand, a long-range comical punching weapon, and the energy ball arm cannon. Which is ripped straight out of Mega Man. He built all this himself, but yep. never a device Mega to Man. underwater. Kinda dropped the ball there, sidekick. Unlike Sonic's speed blitzing battle style, Tails relies but on I never understood. And, and Mario, his shield bot fortifies his defenses. And they are human, right? But they time. don't breathe but underwater. But he's a total wimp. He can't fly forever. I mean, and if wait. Sonic's not around no, they do breathe hand, underwater. He's scared of pretty much everything. After a good thunderclap, you'll find him shivering his spinny ass off in the bathtub. Right. We should hurry. <laughs> Well, he is only 11 years old, and the feats he's accomplished at his yeah, age he is are a impressive. Kid. Like being able to run 100 miles per hour without his tails, stopping a nuclear missile, and saving the multiverse by transforming into... Uh... Don't do steroids, kids. We gotta go or oh, what, like Archie's, Archie's Sonic. Mm. I built a TV. I never me. really read the comments yeah. besides Sonic and Mega Collections. a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look. Fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. Yep. Um, good to go! This cringy cool. Sonic um, Boss World dialogue. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Battle of the sidekicks. Who y'all got? Are you playing this um 
chemical plant thing. Huh. Now, what would Tails fly all the way out there without knowing? Where? Okay. Let me get tired. This is special. Hello? Hit him with a flashbang. Characters than Mario did, I guess. And has survived being Nintendo's whipping boy. Tails' skills and arsenal were more than the green capped plumber could handle. Yeah, I, I knew so about Sun and Battle and all of that stuff. Superior mobility gave him complete control over the battlefield. Also, he has a know that was going to include like the hill and stuff. Which is about as much Nebbius. as Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking combined. Hell, Tails is stronger too. He can move 10 tons while Luigi struggles to lift a large radish. And Tails' gadgets more than make up for any of his weaknesses. Looks like Luigi was out foxed. The winner is Miles Tails. Hey, that's a GG in my book. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Leave recommendations down in the comment section below. I will do them. I love each and every one of y'all. Hope I'll see y'all in future videos. And I'm out.